Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been ages since I last uploaded, but if you're in a mash in at the building, you just know. He's got the water. <laughs> anyway, um, you guys who follow the other story guy, you know what I'm talking about. So today I'm going to give you a story that I think is important. I've been on a journey and I've been trying to learn um, what is the character of the God we worship. And today, I want to give you some insight about his character. And the truth of the matter is, he's looking for people who believe in themselves. Right? And we draw two examples from this. If, if you follow your Bible very closely, you'll notice that you had a man called David, and you had a man called Peter. And here's the difference. Whenever they were surrounded by a very tough situation, one man let doubt take over, and the other one followed the voice of God. So God is looking for characters like this. He doesn't really judge us by how much we fall, but he's looking for that character or that person that we believe in. Believe in him through tough situations. Here's the story. David was a young man, you know, doing his thing in, uh, uh, as a shepherd. And his father didn't even believe in him, right? So Samuel comes in and says, hey, I've been sent here. I heard you got a king, so I need to pour some stuff over him and then anoint him and then I'm like, okay, cool. And then the father looks at Samuel and says, don't worry, you know why? Because I got you, I know exactly what you're talking about. You're talking about my, my sons. I'll parade them over here, and then you'll get to take your pick. <laughs> and I'll be the son of a king. This is fantastic. I didn't expect this, I gotta tell you. So Jesse lines up all his sons. And uh, Samuel, you know, tries to pour water, try, tries to pour the oil on them, and it doesn't come out. And Samuel is like, do you have any other sons? And at that moment, Jesse's wife, <laughs> Jesse's wife was like, what? You, do you have any other stats? Jesse was like, whoa, wait a minute, Samuel, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to expose me? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to do? Oh, wait, yeah, oh, yeah, there's one more. Um, he, he better be the one you're looking for because he's in, um, he's in the shepherd field. Samuel leaves, goes to the shepherd fields, find David, pours oil on him. David, you know the story, he went on and told, uh, he went on to fight great battles. And one of the battles that he fought is one that, need, that needs, that needed courage. Not that the others didn't need courage, but this one was specific. He needed enough courage. He was fighting a man called Goliath. I like the story of David because it's not a normal life what he was going through. During that time there was wars and, and this man called Goliath came. And Goliath was created purposefully for the glory and honor of his name. For the glory and honor of God's name. Your adversities, right, they're made bigger. So that when you get over them, you will know exactly who caused you to win. The adversity in question at this moment is Goliath. So Goliath comes and he says to David, I mean, he says to the children of Israel, like, is there anyone among you that can fight me? And he was like, ha ha ha, you have nobody to fight. And then David was like, hold my water. <laughs> he was like, hold my water, I'm coming, I'm coming to get you. And Goliath was taunting him, he was saying to him, Hey, am I a dog that you come with me with a slingshot? And Goliath was like, and David was like, Today, I will slay you. I will cut your head off. And vultures will feed on your body. Some, some crazy stuff like that. Even Goliath was like, whoa, holy cow. What is this guy watching? Even the place was quiet when David said that. They were like, what? You gotta do what? This guy is crazy, man. Everybody was like, whoa, Jesse, what kind of son do you have? He's gonna do, what kind of movies has he been watching? 
And everybody in the room was like, whoa. Not in the room, but you know, the place, the arena. Crazy times, I tell you. But what does this story teach us? David went on to do his thing. With a slingshot, he was able to bring the giant down. Because he used what God had given him. His talent was slingshots. What talent do you have? Are you discounting it? Are you brave enough to use it, to trust God with it? And then he will use that and catapult you to levels that you've never seen before. My main message today is what do you have? Are you courageous enough to use those gifts? First life without fear. Do not doubt the power of God in your life. To the story of Peter, you know, there was a storm and Jesus was walking on the water. And then Peter was able to walk on water for a period of time and until he started focusing on his surroundings. That tells you something. Don't focus on your surroundings, your circumstances. It doesn't matter. Just focus on the voice of God. It will take you to places that you never dreamed of. All right, people, I will end, I will end it there. I hope you get inspired, spread the word, and make sure that whatever you're going through, you're not mentally disturbed. You're not depressed. You just, you've just logged in to the heavens Wi-Fi. And that's what creates this discomfort that we feel in our spirit. That said, I wish you well. It's a Friday. You go have your water. <laughs> and we'll catch up next week. Adios. Peace out.